After 11 hours, 60 firefighters have finally extinguished a toxic electrical blaze at the Hume Weir power station. The cause of the transformer fire is still being investigated, but electricity companies say the repair job will take at least six months. 60 firefighters battled the toxic blaze that started around 3pm yesterday. CFA, RFS and Fire and Rescue New South Wales crews were unable to go near it for two hours as the 66 kilovolt wires were still live and very dangerous. We needed to get the switchyard power turned off before we could make entry and also apply water to the, uh, the uh, switchyard. A huge plume of toxic black smoke drifted southwest over Bandiana. Police evacuated 500 people and a wedding party from resorts around Lake Hume. The fire brigade informed us that it uh, could have a toxic effect on people if they were to breathe it in, so a precautionary measure was uh, undertaken. Fire crews could not use foam on the intense blaze as the runoff could have turned into a toxic sludge and drained into the Murray River. The transformer contained around 55,000 litres of oil, but it's not known how much of that burnt. Firefighters sprayed water on a fire protection wall, ensuring a second transformer and nearby oil tanks didn't catch a light. There is a number of retention ponds here, or retention tanks, and they, we monitored the those and we were slowly emptying them and disposing of those. Fire crews extinguished the blaze just before 2am but have continued spraying water on the transformer throughout this morning. Once the steaming transformer has cooled down over the next two days, crews will begin investigating the cause. The site may be shut for more than a month while it's cleaned and made safe. Replacing the destroyed transformer will take at least six months. Tom McLean, Wind News.